really been on top form out here and uh, probably missing home a little bit. So Gordon Mathers needs Sixth to get a good start. I know we keep emphasising it, but it is so essential. Especially this first leg, it settles you down. Pin that first double. Just first settles the nerves down a little bit. Well, neither play with a, a sizzling start. Still haven't seen a big travel. Will get better. Sixteen. Yeah, both players are getting the first start very low, and that's why you see James Wade just over pitching a strong throw to try and get the dart above the treble, One. and then work himself down to pin it with the third dart. Mathis has been the same. Too many low darts, and if we see it, then he's going to have to switch to the nineteens. Ninety-six. Uh, big crowds in Wollongong this weekend. Wow. Big crowds also coming to Hamilton in New Zealand for the third leg of our World Series adventure down under next weekend. One there are some tickets still available. The Mathers here putting pressure on Wade in the opening leg. Well, that one forty certainly give him a chance. Ball now, will he go bullseye twenty five or two twenties to guarantee the third dart at the bullseye? And he wants the bullseye. Oh, and that was a good throw dart. Yeah, very, James very required fifty five. The normal route. Oh, he's missed a big fifteen. What a scrappy leg this has been. Thirty five. Well, astonishingly, Golden required twenty five. James Wade. He's had 21 darts and a double on his own throw and not won the leg. Will he get another shot? Nine he four. will. James required. Now, well, Wade is normally pretty accurate with In the double change. The first leg. Is. He puts his hands up to James leg. Wade. He realizes what a poor leg it was, but I tell you what, they count as good as a nine dart leg. Mathers now, is that going to upset him? One Two darts at double eight to nick the first leg. Well, it's, the, it's the opportunity that he would have craved. As you mentioned, he, he got the chance to make the perfect start, Four didn't take five. it against an opponent in James Wade, one of the best players in the world, who's way, way, way off it so far in this match. 99. 22 dart first leg, but as you say, he won it. All that matters. Do you know, sometimes when, you, when you nick a leg like that, it makes you feel a little bit better because you think, well, I've nicked it, especially if it's against the throw. But certainly Mathers a lot better in this 92. leg. James Wade, quite a few behind. He hasn't found his range yet. You can see him in James's throw, he's having to push. And Golden when he's pushing to get a bit more, he just comes up on that left toe a little bit too much. Sixteen. One out of five. Golden required one hundred and ten. Let him way back in this leg, isn't he? 38. Yes, James he has. What well, a great visit from Mathers now. 419 so will leave James Wade the bullseye. That leaves him double six on the same side as the wow. double ten, and that's 14. just outside. So Mathers Golden is going to come back for the 72. Should have been a lot lower than this. Perhaps three darts at a double. But may only get, well, he's going to get two. One of those at double 12. This time he doesn't miss. 
eights. Missed the day, the eights in the first leg, but certainly the double 12 in the second leg. 18 dart leg that Stewart still nothing to write home about really but uh, they will count yeah but I, I, I kind of agree with well I do agree with what you were saying that James Wade seems to be pushing the dart forcing the dart and that's simply because he's not finding his range with the first dart at the top of 34 the problem is when you push the dart, that's when they normally go low. And with James, sometimes to try and find some a little bit more height on the dart, he will just come up on his left toe to try and get the height, and, and that don't always work. But that is the perfect dart for James Wade, and that's why it's so easy to follow it up. The first maximum of the match. It's all about line and length, and the first dart was absolutely plumb. Sixth one. James will be quiet. 87. 47. Ninety-six. James will be quiet. Forty. Well, the double top was really low, but again, James for the second time, James Wade takes out the double game. 10 and takes a 2-1 lead. And that was a better leg for James Wade, 14 dart leg. 16. 16. Yeah, I can't keep him quiet for for long. Wonder how important that first leg may prove to be, Rod. The fact that Mathers had two chances Sixteen. to win it against the darts, and James Wade kind of got away with one. Well, the old legs are important, obviously, but at wow. certain time oh. times. They were brilliant darts, by the way. Yeah. Had to move and found the target. Bang on. Right. From James Wade. Yeah, when you nick a leg, you know, and then he would have stepped One up to be thrown for the second James leg, so he could be 2-0 up. You're four. thinking, of course, you cannot give people like James Wade a second chance. You've got to take every chance on your side. So now, James Wade going to set it up and we'll come back with at least one dart of the double Sixty. yeah perhaps 25 James may have been the best route four. there Paul leg on throw from Mathers you have to say Forty-four. Require He's been low all the time on the top, says James Wade. Now treble 20 for double top. One run on five. Well, he's not James missed the double 10 yet, 20. James Wade. He's two at two on the double 10. Crucial dart here for James Wade. 15. That's the chance that Gordon Mathers wants. Only to hold his throat. But what an important double ten. Ten score. Got to go. James they simply have to five. go. And you see James Wade miss four darts and you step up with three in hand. Will he still be smiling, Mothers? Three score. Oh. Six so darts, he says, James Wade. Well, is he going to stay on the double five or two double four? Well, he's staying, he's staying on the fives. Hits it first dart. 
Well, he didn't get away with the first start, uh, the first leg matters, but he certainly got away with leg four to level it up at two legs all. Lovely guy, and I, I, I do doff my cap to, to Mathers for giving it a go on the PDC tour. Word is that obviously he's going to try and qualify for the Ali Pali and he fight for his tour card once again, but if not, he'll he'll come back to Brisbane and play darts here and try and improve even more. But if, you, if you're brave enough uh, to move home, lock, stock and barrel, and... Um, Give it a go against the big boys of world darts Nine for two years and having to keep dragging yourself up when you don't have success on the on the, the grind which it must be sometimes of the of the pro tour he you know he deserves all the credit for for having a bash it's a tough circuit the pro tour you win your tour card you think you've made it you've got to win and certainly, we're not seeing the best of James Wade here, so good Mathers has, you know, has got to take advantage of this. But whatever happens to Mathers, he said himself, he, he, he will come home a much better player and much better for the experience. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can't buy experience, you can only earn it. And he's earned an awful lot out there, and this wow. is a fine leg from Mathers. He's certainly put the pressure on James Wade. He's going to need at least another treble. Well, he's hit that. 171. That will do James Wade. But Gordon Mathers comes back. We'll look at the bullseye 25 with this first start. 17. Double top for a break of throw. And a 3 2 lead. And he takes it out. That is a beautiful 15 dark leg from Gordon Mathers. Game on. And I'll tell you what. He will settle for another 15 to hold the throw. And if he can, 4 2 up. He's not far from the finishing line, Stu. Great turnout from the, the people of Wollongong and the, the greater Sydney area. One. See that third dart again, he's just coming up on his toe, just trying to push it to get that extra bit of height. Thirteen. Not what Mathers wanted in this leg after breaking the throw of James Wade. See that little bit of extra extension on his arm, can't you? And his shoulders working. Not the rhythm of the normal James Wade. Well, it looks like him. A break straight back. Yeah, 25. That's a good shot. He comes back with a guaranteed two darts of the double. Where if it had stayed on the 20s and only hit a 20, comes back to 61. That route is not great when your opponent is not on a shot. So James Wade, now can he hit this double top? Been very low every time. That's better. Put the first one up to get a bit of a, a guide. Well, that was a 15 dart return there from James Wade. Yeah, ten World Series events he's played in Australia. Wow. James Wade reached only one final. That was way back seven years ago in Perth. One. Well, there we see James Wade's throw. See, he's just trying to extend that arm. One. Just trying to get a little bit of extra height. We see that his back leg is coming up. He's just coming off the toe a little bit where Mathers is rock solid. Six three.
Yeah, more Better left, man. more left at the back foot, the more he's forcing the dart, but a good visit, 140 from James Wade. 81, James required 161. Well, 161 as he had in the previous leg. He will go 25 again. 100. Well, this time he's hit the 20. Now there's needs a 140 to put any pressure on the wide throw. Well, after taking out the 82 42. to go ahead in leg five, we've not seen a lot from Mathers. Needed to capitalise on the success he had. Double four. Game show on the seventh leg. James Wade. Eight leg 215 dart legs on skin. the trot from James Wade. Takes him 4-3 up. And now... Thing is, Wadey, he's just gradually got better and better, isn't he? Just finding his rhythm more now. Getting that first dart up. Winner! It's going to be one of those James Wade performances where he's way off the pace but does enough to win. We've seen it so often. Well, leg six was, was the big one, wasn't yeah. it? Mathers went three, two up and broke a throw and then didn't do anything on his throw and that opened the door for Wadey and uh, he's now in control I just completely lost his range and consistency on the trebles Mathers Whereas Wade appears to be finding his. Yeah, although he's, he's still pushing the dart, he's actually finding the treble from that push. He only needs another treble. One 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 that, James Wade, 86 one after one nine darts, wants 32 for an 11 dart leg. And it's it. in the eighth leg. James, James Wade has just got 15, 15, 12 darts used in the legs to take a 5 3 lead. Yeah, there we have it there. Three brilliant legs from James Wade. But it was leg six. Eight that eight was eight. the crucial turning point. Scores of 100 or there or thereabouts just haven't been enough, have they? As Wade has picked up his average and, you know, well, now over 100 for his first three visits to the board. And look how far ahead he is of the Australian. That's what we talked about a little while ago. There's very little coming back from Mathers. No, I mean, James Wade, two 180s more. Four 140s more. One. Like I say, that, that front nine average, although James Wade won't be happy with that front nine average, when his opponents are only just over 70, then he will be happy. First maximum on the board for Gordon Mathers. But as we see from Dave Marland against Joe Cullen, the game's not over until it's over. Although Joe Cullen went on to win 6 3. Marland did. Have a little bit of a spell, win two legs. He wants a bullseye now. 83. James will require 100. James Wade range. For the match. James, yep. James Wade has wheeled off four consecutive legs in impressive style. 15. 15, 12 and 15. After the disappointments of Townsville, James Wade has come to Wollongong and he has won and won well. James Wade, a 6-3 winner over the Aussie Gordon Mathers.